unreleased quad slot nvidia rtx 40 gpu cooler prototype had a hidden fan intel raptor lake refresh Q support has been added to hw info amd ryzen 8000 straight point apu to feature 4 times zen 5 and 8 times zen 5 c cores and lastly amd radeon rx 7900 gre is now also available in australia this is tech track all right firstly we have twitter user harukes5719 as you can tell he just tweeted this or is it tweet now or posted this now because it's x you know anyway uh, rtx 4090 ti or titan es that's what he's saying they said it's a four slot three fan design so yeah it's a three fan design it's weird that is three fan but you can't really see the three fans because one of them one of the fans is right here another one is right over here and the behind of that but in the middle there's a hidden fan as you can tell there's something coming out of it and this is a uh, probably the newest leak for the rtx 4090 ti or a titan depending on what you want to take it because they're not going to be releasing anyway because they have been cancelled and as you can tell that this is a uh, well that's the hidden fan right there so it kind of tells you that they tried everything to make sure that the cooling is not terrible for the rtx 4090 ti because as we all know it failed because of one simple reason it takes a lot of power in and it's hard to cool down and that's why the beefy uh, heat sink here and also also another hit hidden fan so that's crazy and also the thickness of that as you can tell it's quite thick so kind of tells you that it completely failed even with this thick heat sink and fan design so crazy and that is the shroud we're looking at here to hold it in place so yeah i'm kind of unfortunate that rtx 4090 ti and titan es won't be releasing anytime soon because well it com completely failed and won't be releasing at all i believe they might reuse this uh, cooler here for the rtx 5090 who knows maybe they will maybe they won't but you know what it's kind of unfortunate to see I, I would love to see such beefy uh, gpu though because it kind of cool, looks cool you know kind of looks futuristic but anyway it's not gonna be releasing anytime soon or never next up we have hw info update here that's the latest update latest version 7.60 and it's released in july 27 and we have something interesting here as you can see they have improved monitoring for granite rapids and sierra forests so these are the new like granite rapids basically the server base so we don't really have to think about that if you're interested of course you can check out the other videos about Krenad Rapids. But there's another thing is that they've added Intel Raptor Lake refresh SKUs here. So there that kind of tells you that uh, if HW Info has added the Raptor Lake refresh SKUs here, so that means that they're they're testing with it, obviously. And it's gonna be it's gonna be releasing soon all of the uh Raptor Lake refresh SKUs. So I'm really excited to see how they will perform. Next this. up we have a big leak here from uh, the Twitter user Olrack29. That's I don't know. That's how you spell it. Let's just say Everest. And as you can see, uh, he just tweeted this uh, particular thing right here: the Strix point four times Zen five plus eight times Zen five C cores. So that means that the Strix point, which is the AMD eight thousand APU series that we're talking about here, is gonna be coming with four times Zen five plus eight times Zen five C cores combined. It is like a big dot little uh, kind of design that they're gonna be going for first time with the 8000 series that's the amd they're taking this approach uh, just like the intel but not really exactly the same because it, it, it kind of tells you that it's not really exactly the same it's that they're using the four times zen 5 cores and the eight times zen 5 c cores and also you, you can see that strix halo will be 16 times zen 5 that's the cpu basically the 16 uh, Strix Halo we're talking about here or not really the CPU is the ultimate APU whatever you want to call it it's going to be the higher end APU that we're going to be using the 16 times and 5 cores whereas the Strix points which is also uh, not really like I would say it's uh, the lower end compared to Strix Halo but Strix point is basically coming with the four times n5 and eight times n5 c and as i said it's uh, to clarify he, he just clarified this so some people ask him that uh well as you can tell it's eight plus eight for the halo part basically eight zen 5 plus 8 zen 5 basically multi-chip module that's what we're talking about here but strix point however is not gonna be multi-chip it's gonna be monolithic that's what we need to think about also one more information for popite 7 kimmy here is that strix halo looks like a desktop zen 5 with a different io die so basically yeah strix halo is, is gonna be looking similar to the desktop zen 5 which is gonna be the i believe desktop zen 5 is gonna be the well, i believe granite rich yeah i believe so so it's gonna be the same it would look like the same but it's a strix halo is on the other hand is a apu and 
uh, decks of Zen 5s was going to be the Granite Ridge. It's going to be the full flat CPU. So we'll see about how that goes. And lastly, we have a PLE computers for well, uh, retailer, basically. And as you can see that they have a PC here, a cool looking PC. And we have the, well, if you look into the graphics card, it's the XFX Radeon RX 7900 GRE 16 gigs Series 6 uh, graphics card we're looking at here. And yes, this is coming with a system build. And you can't really buy uh, this particular gpu i don't know why but it's not for the diy market but you can buy this for the you know oem or the system builders of the whole system you can buy it well the whole system costs a lot that's for sure three thousand four hundred eighty nine i believe that's uh, not usd rather uh, australian dollars because ple computer is from australia so yeah uh, it's gonna be very expensive i mean the whole system if you wanted to buy it only the xfx radeon rx 7100 gre then you might not be able to buy it but if you're looking for, to buy uh, well, a whole pc that you can consider this one even though the price is way too expensive so i wouldn't really consider that but it's there so it's an option so yeah it's first time in australia